Welcome and thanks for joining us. Today we're on our way to spend three days in the Gonorizo National Park. This remote park is situated in the southeast of Zimbabwe and borders Mozambique and South Africa. Our lovely campsite overlooked the river with amazing views of the cliffs. One of the iconic attractions of the park is the Chilojo Cliffs that tower majestically over the Rundi River. When the sun sets, it's then that the magic of the day really starts. The golden light hits the cliffs, making a spectacular backdrop when the elephants come down to the water to drink. The name Gonorizo means place of the elephants in the Shona language and you're assured of finding an elephant on every game drive and around your campsite. If you're enjoying this video please like and subscribe down below. Thank you. We took a drive to the viewpoint above the cliffs and enjoyed the amazing landscape that spread out below us. We could even see our campsite across the river from us. To get to and from the viewpoint we had to cross the Rundi River which proved quite exciting. We had to keep to the right close to the rock barrier so that we didn't go off the submerged road. You don't want to get stuck anywhere on this crossing as there are crocs and hippos in the water on either side. Although the park has lions, leopards, buffalo and wild dogs, you won't find them around every corner. Comparatively few people come here and those who do mainly just want to experience the remoteness, the isolation and the beautiful landscape. There are over 400 species of birds found here, so it is a bit of a birder's paradise as well. Our second campsite was at Chapinda Pools, further down the river and closer to the entrance gate. Once again we had another fabulous campsite, and this time with decent ablution facilities. At the end of the day, the sunsets were quite spectacular. Rob and I remained at Chipinta Pools for an extra day when the rest of our tour group left. We made the most of our opportunity to just park off on the banks of the river to enjoy the birds and the wildlife that were there in abundance. It was a very special time for us to enjoy nature in a peaceful setting and say our silent farewells to this beautiful park. Three days in Gonorizo is definitely far too short to say that we've experienced this wonderful park, but it was just enough of a taste to draw us back for a great holiday there sometime in the future. <music>